will be talking about how to use the order of operations. When evaluating, it's very important that you proceed in this order. Parentheses are always done first. Exponents are done next. Multiplication and division are done as they are encountered from left to right. And addition and subtraction are done as they are encountered from left to right. If you have trouble remembering the order of operations, you can use this mnemonic device, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to remember parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. It is very important to understand that it does make a difference if the order is not performed correctly. For example, we see two of the same math problem right here, but one has a completely different answer than the other one. Let's look at why that is. 70 minus 2, parentheses, 5 plus 3. We want to do the parentheses first. 5 plus 3 gives us 8. They did this step correctly. When we see a number sitting next to a set of parentheses, this means to multiply. Based on the order of operations, we know that we should multiply before we subtract. On this problem, they subtracted before they multiplied, which gave them the answer of 544, which is incorrect. On the right-hand side, they still did the parentheses correct. 5 plus 3 is 8. Let's see. Now they multiplied 2 times 8, which gave them 16, and then subtracted. So they performed the operations in the correct order, and that gave them the correct answer. It is very important that you complete the operations in the correct order in order to get the correct answer. On our first example, again, we want to do parentheses first. So I'm going to do 10 plus 5, which gives me 15. I always rewrite the whole problem so that I don't miss any steps. Next, we want to do exponents. 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, which is 9. Next, we have multiplication and division in order from left to right. We only have 1, so we do 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And last, addition and subtraction, which gives us 14 for our final answer. For our second example, again, we want to start with parentheses. So 12 minus 4 is 8. Don't forget to bring down the exponent. I see people forget that all the time. Don't forget we have not completed the exponent yet. Now we will do the exponent. 8 times 8 is 64. Next, we have multiplication and division, so we complete the multiplication. 64 times 2 is 128 plus 18 and our final answer would give us 146. For our next example, we start with the parentheses. You'll notice we have several operations in our parentheses. We want to follow the order of operations inside our parentheses until we complete every operation here. We're going to start with the exponent. So 2 to the second power would be 4. And notice that I'm still putting the parentheses around it because we have not completed everything. Next, I want to do division. 8 divided by 4 is going to give me 2, and we still have our parentheses here. Next, 4 plus 2 is 6, and we are done with our parentheses, so 12 divided by 6 is 2. For our last example, I show what it looks like when we have both multiplication and division, as well as addition and subtraction. We skip parentheses and exponents and go straight for multiplication and division. Since we're going left to right, I start with 21 divided by 3, which gives me 7. I then go to the next multiplication and division, which is 18 divided by 2. I still have one more multiplication left. And now I have all addition and subtraction. 7 plus 27. And then 34 minus 1 
which gives us 33 as our final answer. To wrap up and review, when evaluating using the order of operations, always remember to proceed in the following order. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, and addition and subtraction from left to right. Thank you.